What's up, guys? My name is Emerson, your favorite manic and melanated photographer. Hey, hey, this is Alex, or you can call me Peach, your local content creator and fruit enthusiast. And welcome to the Photo Bros Podcast. Your one-stop shop for all things photography, videography, and content creation. Yo, yo, yo. yo. Welcome to episode 13 of the Faux Bros Podcast. Yes, Faux Bros Podcast, where you can learn everything about photography, videography, and content creation. Oh, what? We just redid our intro again. What? No, we already know our intro, though. That's... <sighs> God, bro. You literally... Keep, 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 what are you, gonna, what are you okay. trying to say to me? I'm not... Oh, my God. Whatever, man. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> All right. So everyone's wondering what today's episode is about. We are talking about artificial lighting. Uh, well, a lot more other stuff, but specifically more artificial lighting. Boom. And who do we have today, Emerson? We have my little brother, not biologically, Justin with us. Justin. And if you don't know him, well, he's pretty well known. He's in the Instagram world. You can follow him on Instagram. What's your Instagram, Justin? Midnight Killjoy. Okay. Sweet, sweet. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> I'm just so silly saying that. But yes, just, it's, just catchy, though. it's, it's catchy, all though. good, bro. Yeah. But Justin, welcome to the show. And uh, I don't know, tell us a little spiel about yourself. Like, you know, how long have you been doing photography? So I I would say I started around like October 2022. That was like when I booked my first shoot. Wait, what? Hold up, hold up, hold up. I honestly, what? I honestly feel I, like you started a lot. Before, I thought like, you started out a lot earlier. Yeah, probably like, wow, since, like dude. five years old, probably. So I, I've i known how to use a camera for a very long time. Okay. Most of the time I would like, I would be the kid with the disposable camera. Okay. That's why I like shooting film now. But over... Like, I think in high school, I took a photography course and I learned how to use like shutter speed, aperture, you know, like ISO, like I knew what those things did. And then I kind of just dropped it. Wow. But same. Um, I remember that over time, like, especially during COVID, like I just stopped like hanging out with friends. I stopped going out and vibes. I mean, the government yeah. said no hanging out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I, I kind of followed True that. Vibes. Yeah. I, I bought a GoPro, but Ooh, I wanted oh. to do more with it. So I got like my starter Sony camera and then mm -hmm. eventually I, I like, I actually like in my house played around with like action figures and stuff to learn what things did Wait, again what kind of toys? before actually like I had like a Master Chief figure that I photographed a lot and like a, cool. a Harley Quinn statue and Ooh. like a, like a poison Ivy one too, whatever. Whoa. Wow. But That's pretty cool. That's awesome. That was about a whole year before I actually DM somebody to shoot. Cause I was scared. Oh yeah. Did you hyperventilate too? Cause I did. Yes. Cause I, I was mean, like, I, I was nervous too. Cause I typed first... it all up right in Instagram yeah. and then I was like struggling to put send. And then I used my other hand to push the other hand to push send. You guys use Instagram to get your first shoot? Yeah. Oh, did you I use... used model mayhem. I created a model oh, mayhem that? account. Oh man. <laughs> and I started getting like inboxes cause I was like, I'm a beginner photographer. Yeah, and I, I was never, just getting I never did lot. that. Cause I, I have not it. used my model mayhem account. I think I just used it like a couple of weeks ago and got matched up with a model, but uh, that was my first time using it in like three years. I don't know anybody who still uses Model Mayhem. They might. Yeah. I, I mean, I follow their Instagram account. I don't really. I didn't really create an account for it, but yeah. it might be cool. Uh, I don't. I, I usually just like I don't know, chat it up with other people, other models, other photographers, other creatives, mm -hmm. and then eventually when we build a whole like relationship or rapport or like a really good bond, and then mm -hmm. maybe the question will pop up. Yeah. At least that's how I do it because, you know, if I just do it out of the blue, like it'll, it'll sometimes it'll work, sometimes it won't. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cause I yeah. found that out the hard way. <laughs> yeah. But things happen. Yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to dive into this. Let's dive right in. All right. So, artificial lighting. Now, I've talked about this multiple times before. Um, Emerson, you can see it on his page. He used it too. I use it a bit. Actually, when I no, that's uh, no. I use it a lot. Actually. You use it way more than me. Yeah, yeah. Recently, um, a lot of people won't know this, or maybe they will. Mm -hmm. I recently got and for Christmas because I got Christmas money, so I kind of caved in and then looked on eBay and found 
an Amaran 150C, right? Yeah, I remember when you told me that. that. I was so I jealous of you. And then I got... Love a, that light. And I also got a Fresnel <laughs> yes. at the same love time. Love that light. Come I on. love that modifier. My favorite. <laughs> That's my favorite No, modifier. yeah. But no, I want to shout out to Justin because he told me about all this and I said, I really want to create something with these. So, and I did. Which I'll show you guys a photo I that I created um, a while, like a few weeks back in Richmond. I met up a model mm -hmm. and we did an amazing shoot. What I basically, well, to start as a start, to explain this, and you can jump in, Justin, and explain this, but in Amaran 150 DC, basically just imagine like, like a lantern that looks like a space alien gun mm -hmm. and then just imagine like a ray of light just bouncing off it's a beautiful and you can light. change the colors yes. right it can be like white light or or you know like a yellowish type of tint mm -hmm. on that light like warm or cool mm -hmm. but you can also change the color yep. you know and which i did use a lot of yellow magenta red blue cerulean violet and you can create a lot of stuff with it and then the fresnel like imagine like it's like a it's like an attachment to it, which kind of like creates like a uh, lighthouse effect. So it kind of focuses the light, mm -hmm. right? And yeah. then I basically what I did was I put it on a tripod, and then raised it up, and then pointed it down to the model, put the Fresnel on, focused it, and then made kind of made like a ray of light. I had my little smoke machine, put smoke around, and it looks like you know like a ray of heaven on the model and then i made the model like pose. an alien abduction or something sort of but imagine the model just like laying down with the blanket over her and oh, then okay. she's reaching out to heaven oh right. really so that's that's what i did my that's creative cool. game but y'all are, all are i need wow. a boom arm i don't i don't usually get it that high but like yeah it yeah. was it was tough uh i had a really like reliable tripod luckily i don't have no Good. idea if it's bent or not but <laughs> good but, lord part of the game <laughs> but i'll show you the picture later i'll post it in, in, in yeah. a month or so I show know. it after the session maybe yeah, yeah. i'm very but, interested <laughs> but you you but, but yeah but just a shout out to justin because he has an amaran 300 c which is like a lot brighter, I think, right? Justin has it's just like way too much brighter. gear. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a lot brighter. <laughs> but I got all that, right? So it really helped, you know, with my work. So first um, off, first off, can I can I just say this real quick? My man Justin comes with like the ultimate gear oh to my every God. shoe. He brings uh, it, he brings he bring, a wagon. I'm a nerd. He, he brought in a whole wagon, wagon right? in, into the studio. I'm like, dude. <laughs> we did a whole group shoot and then he yeah. brings in like, yeah. like, one, <laughs> like so much much stuff. <laughs> most of the stuff I don't even use. Yeah. Like, you know what I use? I use that 300 C. He does use a 300 C. And I use a lot. the Fresnel. <laughs> yep, and that's it. Yeah. Most of the time. Yeah. That's, yeah. But yeah. also weird thing i actually bought most of that equipment before i took a photo with somebody i was That's impressive deep in the i was deep in the youtube like i need this <laughs> i need this i need and i didn't need any of that i had those i had those moments but then i just fell in love with the natural light i don't i still don't know how to use studio lighting so you know you know a bit i know a little bit i've seen you around the studio ever <laughs> oh, i mean i know, I know we have our own studio. techniques but uh -huh. what about you like any specific techniques you have to kind of create specific moods so or, and then also any inspirations um well the fresnel i love the old hollywood lighting where it's just like the actor portrait and it's like i don't know like all soft and like old their face hollywood. looks so good it 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 technically is a hard light but it's a soft hard light interesting so well, like the the shadows are there are a lot more shadows but they're less defined mm. so a hard light is the shadows are like really sharp but the Fresnel makes it softer. Mm. So it's easier on people's skin. It's easier just in general on people. But uh, yeah, uh, I like I like the spotlight effect a lot because I like, um, I like adding that little element of a little bit more light on somebody's face or like highlighting something on like the outfit. Also sequins, sequins light up. Oh, like time. with the with the fresnel so i yeah. addicted to shooting i always wanted to use a disco ball oh uh, yeah okay time. you know what i did actually what? uh so i didn't have a disco ball i didn't want to uh -huh. feel like buying one like because of the full price mm -hmm. so yeah. i went to michael's i got a styrofoam ball and i got a bunch oh. of mirror like small mirrored squares you actually and did that yourself yeah that's wow. impressive. That's, I glued impressive. It up. that's a diy right there yeah, yeah. i actually did a, i actually used it in a shoot with uh my friend uh Bibiana, she's an amazing model. Shout out to Shout Bibiana. out to Bibiana. I miss you. Yeah, same, <laughs> same. Yeah, I hope you're doing well. Yep. But anyway, um, yeah. So we I used it in that shoe. Now, that being said, that was a challenge for me. So, um, you experienced your own fair, your own share of challenges, Emerson. 
right? In any in any shooting situation, right? Where you're like, okay, let's see how this goes, right? But it was challenging. Yeah, I mean, I went to a studio. I'm not going to name drop. I went to a studio, and the strobes were miraculously not working well. It was mostly to trigger, but luckily I have my mini RGB lights, and I just had to make do with what I had. And yep. I mean, that's why I bring my the, own stuff. <laughs> yeah, I know. I mean, yeah, now yeah. I have, now I have the, uh, alien bees. So oh, that's nice. I yeah. can use that now. Um, uh, but yeah, I had to like improvise and pull out my RGBs and the shots came out great. Shout outs to Jasmine, Eris dot of dot Freya. Um, she was a good sport. Great. Great um, and yeah, we just I mean, made do with what we had and we got some great captures with that. But yeah, sometimes you just have to think outside the box when situations happen. For sure. Yeah. Yeah, true, true. But yeah. speaking of challenges, uh-huh. I know my I had my own fair share too, where uh-huh. it was like the result was amazing, but it was a challenge mm-hmm. because uh, I struggled. <laughs> but any challenges for you, Justin? Like there's a lot of situations where you probably had to really... Uh, deal with a lot of stuff in order to get the shot you want so yeah so so any challenges you encountered like during any of your shoots like to kind of create like maybe to create a specific mood or a type of shot you want so i've had quite a few but like i guess i kind of finesse it now so my first like real lighting challenge this is when i knew i learned flash photography was i was at a wedding And it was like a weird indoor outdoor and it was pitch black outside. Like there was maybe one or two lights like in the entire thing. Then on the inside, there was lights in like the corner where like nobody was. So the lighting scenarios were both and are different in both. And I took enough shots doing like flash outdoors where it wasn't as bright and then flash indoors where I had to brighten it up more. And as soon as I got it from both scenarios, like I was like, okay, I I understand this. And when people were dancing indoors, I learned that flash will actually like freeze them. Even if your shutter speed is really low, like flash, I I'm a nerd. So very technical. I understand all of the like sync speeds and blah, blah, blah. So that, that helps. I think we're all nerds, right? Yeah, because I'm, I'm like, the ultimate nerd. Well, Photography, like, pro wrestling, you name it. Yeah, true. Because <laughs> um, I know, uh, well, I'm trying to get a strobe light myself, like similar to your Alien Bees. Mm-hmm. But because like for now, what I actually do is uh, I use my off-camera flash and then I put on a tripod and then I have mm-hmm. the uh, mm-hmm. trigger and yeah, transmitter. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then I, yeah, and I put on a tripod and I have my, um, the diffuser, the umbrella. Mm-hmm. The wet umbrella, and so mm-hmm. I use that as my. Mm-hmm. And I, What's oh, your off-camera flash? Is it a Godox eighty two hundred? No, it's a uh, it's a newer. I forgot. Oh, okay, one. cool, cool. Yeah, but it yeah. it does the job. But mm-hmm. I still feel like, you know, like have you seen uh, our friend Amir's? Have you seen his uh, um, his strobe? I have oh, yeah. not seen. No, his I strobe. don't know. It's really it's a really good one. I just don't. I think it might be Godox. It's a, it's a Godox one. Yeah, but oh, he he okay. uses the diffuser on it though. He does. That's, that's the special sauce. Yeah, no, that's no, that's the special sauce. No, 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 that, we will repeat that. That is the special sauce because yeah, the, the diffuser really oh does help. God, like yeah. mine is, oh, it, it, it's yeah. No, mine Changes is mine is made out of silicone. I think he uses one that's actually a lot simpler, like a plastic box. Yeah, but mm-hmm. yeah, but either either way, a diffuser will go a long way. But that but that's still my challenge today because I'm trying to get like, you know, if I if I do a shoot outside where there's not a lot of sunlight, then I'll use that umbrella. But I it'll it'll do the the job but i still feel comfortable with the strobe light you know just by itself just yeah like a direct flash yeah you know, like yeah because yeah. like it'll do the it'll do the work but and everything but I still i feel like i need a powerful like a more powerful light you mm-hmm. know if you get it closer it might it might do something more that actually you, you got a point it's something i gotta do but anyway i know i gotta work on my skills still because i'm still learning every single day every time yeah every time i do a shoot i learn something new i i feel like that's part of the whole journey because yeah th- i don't feel like there's ever a destination honestly you're always learning nobody's ever perfect i mean i'm in yeah. youtube university at least once a day oh yeah watching yeah. a new video i mean learning like a, new things yeah. learning new tricks mm-hmm. there's no such thing as a perfect photographer yeah we look up to certain people but even even they are 
uh, learning as well. I mean, mm -hmm. Brandon Wolfel, he says it all the time. He's all like, hey, just learned a new trick. Let me share it with you guys. And I'm all like, this guy's already the goat and he is learning. Yeah. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Like I, I recently what I did, like I can use RGB lights, but what I actually did is actually use the, uh, if I go to a studio, they have strobe lights. Mm -hmm. I said, I want some color into this. So gel. I brought my own gels, gels. but I love I, gels. But you can just get some from Michaels, just wrap it around, get mm -hmm. some yeah. clips. Yeah. And I'll show you those photos later too, but it was amazing. Yeah. Cause like mm -hmm. I got, I has my strobe with the, with the blue uh, gel on it. And then over here I had my, a V flat on the black side. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then. Bam. Thanks for reminding me. I need love to get that. some gels for my bees. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. yeah. But anyway, yeah. But uh, but since you're here, Justin, you any tips for us? Any tips for the for the community out there? So one thing I kind of do is like everywhere I go, like I learn mostly off natural light. I see how light is reflecting off of something else. Like if there are people I'm talking to, I see what light is hitting them. Also, I look for rainbows. Because rainbows are like a special reflection or refraction of light that like it helps with angles. Like if you see how a certain like mirror or glass pane like refracts the light, that that helps so much. Because yeah. uh, something that a lot of YouTubers don't say about artificial lighting is if you really want to get more in depth with it, you have to not put the light directly on the person. You have to feather the light. You always have to get that like special angle, especially with something like uh, Fresnel, because mm. how they oh. used it back in old Hollywood was they would put it like way over to the side and then have it shine right down. And then that would yes. work its magic. Yeah. So one thing I learned with starting to starting to do video, I was always putting the light just literally right smack dab in front of my face. But instead, I put it at a 45 degree angle exactly and above my head. And it just changed up the way all of my videos look. So that was I don't know. What, I don't know why these YouTubers get gatekeep that information. Yeah, they just don't say it. Well, They're just like, of, set up the light. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, a lot of creatives out there, they're going to they're gonna gatekeep anyway. Like, a lot of people gatekeep. I think. I mean, just I like, gatekeep my editing style. So yeah. <laughs> I don't yeah, want yeah. nobody to steal my branding. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, how about you? Are you a gatekeeper? <laughs> no, I try not to be. I, I like, I, I experiment a lot, but it's like, yeah. if somebody else is like trying to learn how I did the thing, I will just tell them straight up. Yeah, but true. like, um, I'm always trying to learn. So me sharing information with people, they'll usually share like, oh, I yeah, tried to do this way. thing. Yeah. Like, yeah, I, I mean, I mean I I've tried so many experiments. Now. Yeah. I have two students now, so I've been very transparent yeah. with them about certain aspects and stuff, especially when it comes to natural light. So I'm mm -hmm. always pro skill sharing. So if you're like ever any photographer that's getting a pretty decent following on Instagram, don't be afraid to like do some videos and say, Hey, here's, here's some tips, tips and tricks. I mean, our producer Shane has been telling me for like the past year, I need to become a YouTube star and do Skillshare videos. So yeah, I go I, for it. <laughs> I, I love that though. Like yeah. having students is like, I feel like that's awesome. Like, yeah, <laughs> like me, me like shooting just around you. I've learned so much, but like, oh man, you actually that. teaching people that I, I love. Yeah. That. yeah. Yeah. It's new, but they are so receptive to it. And yes. so yeah. I love it. Yep. Mm -hmm. I True. also learned a lot from just hanging around and shooting with other photographers. Big time. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I love, well, I don't love going to them anymore because social anxiety, but like oh, portrait meets, me and portrait meets. Portrait meets and like portrait meet was my favorite. But yeah, <laughs> it's because I know one thing I want to do is uh, use like one of the RGB lights, but like do a shot where I can, like, if I can somehow hang it from the top. You, you know? just got to get a boom like, arm. Like straight up going down. Yeah, yeah. That, that's yeah. what I need that's to get. That's a challenge though for me because I, there's no way I can actually yeah, do but that. But boom unless. arms are so expensive. And they are. And it's just like, or just see, like, a really man. good C stand, but I uh -huh. need a, I need to, I, yeah, I need to, uh, I'm not going to get one. I'll just mm. use like a really long one at a studio. I just if they don't have know it. why the stands mm -hmm. are so expensive because like, they're made we're out of, of, we're already paying enough money for the light. Of, I don't know. Cause all the tripods <laughs> are one thing, but C, it yeah. yeah, it's the C stands. They're the made C out stands are like 200 plus dollars. No, they're made, like they're made out of fucking vibranium or some shit. Like, so you, you know, vibranium. they're, 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 they're expensive <laughs> as shout outs to Wakanda. Oh yeah. yeah, Wakanda Forever. Kupo, yes. Kupo yeah. is my brand. What for C stands? If you Kupo, Kupo, Kupo. K U P. -O. Shout outs to Kupo. Shout yeah. outs to Kupo. Shout outs to Kupo. If they have an Instagram, I will follow it. Yeah, they probably for sure. Do. Sponsor us. They're uh, slightly cheaper. 
I got a, a C stand for like 120 bucks. Okay, but the know. fact that you have to have it in your house and you have to take it apart, carry it in your car to a shoot, you know? Yeah, it, it can be a lot, but I mean, I carry a lot all the time. So, although is you only like, the wagon? Carry, oh, do you yeah, carry it to do you carry it to studios only? Only or? studios. But then what I, if they I what never if they take over, it outdoors? But what if they already have a C stand? Then I use theirs. But he brings it just in case. Okay. <laughs> you gotta yeah. it's like being in boy scouts you gotta always be prepared always be for because you never know what'll happen all right and you go to a studio and they're all like oh yeah all of our strobes are broken and you're all like dang it <laughs> yeah. what am i supposed to use yeah <laughs> there, there was actually like, a, gee, i was, was in a situation together. like that there was a, you were in a situation like that. so there was a studio in baltimore that i rented and uh-huh. all of their c stands were rusted and <laughs> all of their what lights. The, how is that work. possible? How I, in the world? What the world? I, I sprinkler know. system happen? You know that? Like, <laughs> like literally, I looked at the base of it, and like half of it was like that, like orange, like ish color. And I was like, I don't trust that. You need some WD forty. Yeah. Wait, <laughs> which studio was this? I'm just curious. We're not named. Oh, oh come on, man! I, like, <laughs> it was on Peer Space, but I don't, I don't know if it's listed anymore. Was it? What did you pay a ton of money for it? Because yeah. I would ask for a refund. Yeah, was it like it wasn't fifty an hour guarantee. It was like seventy an hour or something. Oh, it was it more like. 40. Okay. Good. Okay. So I thought you were going to say it was Wait, higher. Hold on. With okay. the like $80 oh, cleaning fee. Are right? you, you serious? Know? <laughs> it's always, it's always, it's always a cleaning fee. Yeah, That's what gets you. Cleaning fee kills me. Uh, yeah. Shout out to Union 206 because I am not the using Peer Space anymore. In the DMV is yeah. Union 206. Union 206. Woo! I bring Hands everywhere. Down. Everyone oh. there. Hands down. Yeah. It's pricey, but it's, it's pricey, worth, but it's worth it. It's yeah. worth it. So worth it. Yeah. I always have a great time at Union. 206 all right now we we now we talked about artificial lighting and uh, it was a great topic but there's something i really want to ask you justin traveling with models right and i'm using my hand gestures you know like i'm like like it's a rainbow yes traveling (laughs) with models now there's a lot of good great amazing models around the area dmv area yes but there's also some in other states surrounding states maybe even all the way to california so, you know, Pacific, uh, Pacific, Atlantic to Pacific Sea, you know, of North, South, mm-hmm. even in other countries. Yes. And, you know, that's really something interesting to do. And I don't know when exactly did you start traveling to meet or to meet other models and all that? Mr. Worldwide. And where did you start? <laughs> like, what's what, where did you travel to first? My man was. In um, my- so I guess Boston was the first time I traveled. Like awesome. by myself. Wow. Okay. Like I, I went up there because I wanted to shoot with one of the models up there. Like I, another photographer recommended me like to shoot with her. And I was like, all right, I'll, I'll DM her. And then we like, well, uh, book the shoot. And I was up there. Like that was my first like solo travel. Who was the model? Anything like that. Uh, Lainey. Lainey Rose. Yeah. Lainey yeah Rose. She follows me too. Yeah, yeah. She's my, she's awesome. She's my favorite model. Like, she's amazing. Yeah. Lainey, yeah. So, she's shout so out to nice. Lainey Rose. Yeah. Shout, shout yeah. out to Lainey. Shout out to Lainey. Oh, Lainey. Okay. I said lady, lady, Ro- uh, Lainey Rose. Lainey Rose. Lainey. Yeah. Lady yeah. Rose though is a really cool, it's a catch. Lady Rose. Yeah. And that, that was like my first like full on like lingerie shoot i was really nervous at first but like honestly shooting with laney it was like she was just so great like the whole shoot because i I was professional and everything like that so she like like she was just great and it it helped that's a good thing to note like when you're getting into like lingerie and any risque shoots you have to find a model that you really vibe with because like me when i did my first lingerie shoot i'm just glad like uh, the first person i did it with made me feel comfortable because not only not only is the model uncomfortable some models are uncomfortable but also the photographer gets really nervous like i don't want to come off like weird you're like worried about like oh i don't make sure your face is straight the whole time you just want to make sure that that you're just giving off the right vibe in a way yeah yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. It, it helped a whole lot and like her communication was great mm-hmm. like yeah that was that was like a, an adventure on its own because like i it snowed it yeah. snowed a lot overnight <laughs> and i i was not, not used to that the northeast <laughs> yeah <laughs> that, that was the first place i traveled and then i guess the next place was up in uh like uh rochester like up in new york Damn. upstate new york and planes, uh, trains, what? Planes. Yeah, they were cheap back then. I'm a trains guy. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. What wait, do you mean wait. back then? Do you mean like COVID era? 2022, they were cheap. In what or way? Or 2023, 2023. No, that's a no, lie. No, that's a lie, bro. That's at the start. They were what so air, cheap. Are you, during, yeah, we're at airlines, right? Guess like, how much I paid for that flight up to Boston. How much? 
two hundred and twenty dollars. You can take. You That's can take a, a lot. You can dude. take a train That's for that. that much. You for can take low- a train for way less yeah, yeah, to can. Boston. With for yeah. What the, what the hell, man? <laughs> what the hell, man? Was that one way or was that just no, a round both. trip? Round trip. Oh, for two. That's actually is a deal. Yeah, still That's though, a deal I feel for like, round trip, dude. Still though, I feel like the train would have been. Was like it Spirit a, or what airlines was it? It was Spirit. No, guaranteed. it was Delta. Oh, Del- Delta. Delta. Yeah. Oh, okay. I got it. I got a deal on it though. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Did you? Okay. <laughs> okay. Did you talk to someone about this, or did you get a coupon? Or so, um, I literally just looked for days. <laughs> Like I looked, you know what? I, I looked for the right flights at the right time. You know, I understand what he's saying because I think you can get a good deals or you can find good deals if you look on Google and Google Travel. You just have yeah. to be very. You have to be on. You it. have to be on it. Just like exactly, really diligent and just keep going. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so then how about this? When's the first? When's the first time you traveled internationally to do a shoot? Uh. Actually, this year was the first time I left the U.S. Yeah, I've like, noticed actually. that, man. You've been we're going nervous, from country to country to country. Yeah, I, I yeah. was. It was. It was yeah. to Turks and Caicos, which is it is still mm. outside the U.S. It's a British ter- territory, but mm. it, I was confused it by felt like Miami. I was confused by that because you bit. you ended up in Japan, and then you ended up in Bali, and then you ended up in Turks, Caicos, and then you ended up. Well, no, no, no. Turks and Caicos was first. Oh, and that was. So then I was all over the place. But no, but you were in Japan first. Well, were you in? Was no, Japan a layover, or were you it's like gotta be a lay- in? He Japan? was there for like a day. I was day. there for one day. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, because yeah. I was like, I was, I was being so, I was so jealous. Yeah. I studied yeah. abroad in in Japan for two weeks, and when I was in high school, so I got kind of like, mm. you, I was supposed, uh, I, was, I miss Japan so much. Yeah. <laughs> I was supposed you to go to. Taste? Yeah, I was. I, I was supposed I, to go I, to I Japan. I want to go back so bad. I was supposed yeah. to go to Japan, but then COVID said no. Yeah, so, uh, you gotta love COVID. Yeah, yeah. no shout outs to COVID. <laughs> my mom just tested positive this morning, so it's kinda... well, shout out to Mama Sanchez. Yeah, feel better, Ma. Anyway, <laughs> internationally, so then, I assume you were nervous on the plane. Of course. Okay, but like, how did it work out? I, like, you got there, and then you had your layovers, and when you finally got there. You, I assume there was a guy to pick you up or you had to find your way. No, there was somebody that picked me up. So I, I went on the, the mermaid experience or whatever it's called. Um, what it's, is that? I knew, uh, Michaela, like I I've been DMing her for like months beforehand. Wait, but, uh, which Michaela? Not okay. Uh, Michaela, hold on. <laughs> Wait, hope Michaela. Her. No, 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 no. I'm literally DMing her right now. <laughs> Michaela. Yeah. I don't know. I only know two Michaela's. Yeah, I know same. Michaela underscore models. Either way, I, I, I don't, don't know, know who that, that is. is, but shout outs to them. Yeah, yeah. shout outs to Michaela. <laughs> but anyway, but like, so what? She recommended that to you, like the the mermaid mermaid experience. Well, she hosts it. Oh, oh okay. Wait, so was this one of those where she you don't know who she is and she pops up and then she messages you about this experience or she or you already knew who she because was? I no, did. I knew who she was. Okay. She, again, yeah. she sent you the uh, hey, this is happening because you know I'm hosting it and all that. I, I kind of DM'd her. <laughs> okay, <laughs> nothing wrong yeah. with that. But in, and then uh, how much was the thing? Was a whole it was e- a lot. <laughs> <laughs> if we want to talk numbers, we can talk numbers. But I don't. I, know. I mean, I, I don't. Uh, well, okay, was it in the in the four? I, I don't know. Was it four digits? Was it in the yes? What? <laughs> what, what was the first number? It's all about the Benjamins, What was the first baby? number? <laughs> Three. <laughs> what the, bro. What? What are no. you doing? Man? No, not say. Okay, you had some good shots. I saw, but listen, bro. <laughs> Teach me oh your my ways. <laughs> Teach me your ways. Yeah, you gotta like, rub a bank for that. You gotta like. Dang, but then man. again, you know, I guess I, I you ma- you make your money your but own. But he also is single. That that was that is true. That was so. meals included <laughs> and housing. Okay, oh, okay, not, okay. Well, that's that, not that so makes bad. Sense. That's yeah. not so bad. Meals because included, imagine if yeah. model fees and housing. That's not imagine, so bad. Yeah, yeah. imagine yeah. if it was that much, and then you have to get your you own housing, get, yeah. your own food, get and I got chauffeured food. everywhere. So that even awesome. better. Wow, you know you what? The royal treatment. That's actually not a bad deal. I might as well invest in something like that because that is not only a trip, but you also meet people. Make because I saw your my throat hurts. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you keep that in Oh there. god. <laughs> but yeah, no, that's actually pretty that's actually pretty cool. Um but uh yeah, because you also traveled to Vegas for what not, oh yeah, that was a workshop with my friends. Um, yeah, see, but that's different from the ex- Merman experience. Yeah, way work different. On my way network, way cheaper. <laughs> way cheaper. It was probably like two hundred or something. Las Vegas is actually pretty, pretty cheap. 
the flight i don't remember well the flight's the flight, one thing but the flight the fact wasn't that like anything flights to vegas are like 50 dollars. They're, they're like it yeah, was like 40 to 50 dollars one way so you're paying yeah, like 100 know, for a round trip because like there's this one yeah. guy who this really great boudoir photographer I, f- I think his name is marco marco ibanez well he has his own studio in baltimore yeah that's marco ibanez yeah yeah i want I look to, up to that dude he's a he's freaking amazing yeah he has really good tips but i think yeah. he's the one who hosted that right in vegas no 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 yeah, isn't no, but that he the was one there. that did no that's well, the one was michaela there? was at i, I think it. yeah no because eris of freya was there and then he was yeah, there jasmine too. was there i don't know if michaela that was the same there. I don't it think wasn't the same one it wasn't no, 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 because no, 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 i one. went there um oh my gosh i forgot her name Uh-oh. oh gosh eris of freya she was there yeah no she DM'd she was not there oh mm-hmm. she dm after i had left vegas she's like yeah are you in town because i think i think she reached out to me that's, I was like, oh yeah, that's my little brother. And she's like, oh my God, really? I'm like, not biologically. <laughs> she got really excited. I was yeah. just like. Oh. Yeah, she, she reached out to me. She is, have you worked with her yet? Yeah, yeah. yeah. She, she is incredible. Yeah, I, I worked with her at the Mean Girl shoot. In one of those traveling shoots that you did, what is like the most challenging and memorable experience from all that? <sighs> that that's a lot. There's a lot of challenging and memorable experiences. Um, I, I mean, I think. Or challenging and or memorable. That's that's like all of it. Damn. But I think the most challenging was trying to leave Bali because. Wait, what? What? Two of my flights got canceled. Trying <laughs> oh, to get, OK. I thought get it was going to be that. darker than that. Yeah. No, I, 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 yeah. Being, they were being held against your will. It, it kind abroad. of felt like it. <laughs> like dude okay or or maybe like you met someone or something like that you were going to get married it's going to be some 90 day fiance type nothing like that (laughs) okay so then two flights were canceled that's actually unfortunate i i hope you got some of your some of your money back or yeah i i got the flight back home reimbursed so that was that was nice i feel like uh, delta owes you i feel like instant it's in the law somewhere it it was a korean air because uh oh Oh, yeah yeah. you had to you you had to, to fly you have to fly another yep airline to get all the way to bali yeah mm-hmm. but um that was that was an, an experience because i never experienced like sleep deprivation or anything like that because like literally we got there at, at 1 a.m for our flight i was out partying like that day so i was like <laughs> ready to just get on the plane you know sleep, sleep the rest of it uh-huh. justin then, is not who he says he is <laughs> he might be quiet wait might be introverted Yeah, you guys see one thing we see another yeah, yeah it, it's like that yeah. um <laughs> but i I was ready for the flight, and at like 4 a.m. they canceled it. What? And so at 4 a.m. It, took, at 4 it took a while, but they got us a hotel room, at which really, it was really only like two hours we got to ourselves before <laughs> we had to get up for the next flight, which was canceled again. Oh my gosh! And then like Damn. me and a bunch of other people, like we like formed like a little group, and we were telling each other information we heard from different people about like when the next flight's gonna be, and pretty much the next day. Like 24 hours later at 1 a.m., we finally got a flight out. So good lord, it was it, that was an experience. That sounds like a nightmare. <laughs> yeah, it it felt like it. At least you made it out of there. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> an, I'm glad I could. <laughs> and then you write a book, Surviving Bali. Yeah, <laughs> but then uh, when's the next time you think you'll be able to uh, do something like that again? Probably next year. Okay. <laughs> Fair. I, I've spent who knows way maybe, too much money <laughs> who knows maybe it'll be, it'll be it'll be funny like who knows maybe we end up in the same workshop or something and we're like hey you know that that, that would be fun yeah. let's yeah. record the podcast on site Ooh, good point in a different country that would be interesting yeah or a different state you never know different maybe state, we yeah. i don't know maybe we end up in vegas or something we, vegas we start touring we just start touring and be like in different hotel rooms recording true true that's, that sounds yeah. fun. It, I know it looks like a sting operation, but no. <laughs> <laughs> All the microphones set up, <laughs> different corners of the room. Room service comes in is just like, uh, what's going on in here? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we have a podcast. <laughs> Baba Booey. <Okay. laughs> Got it. The hell was that all about? That's his. That's his new ringtone. Okay, that's what. <laughs> Okay, but okay. Here, Justin, to say this, what is how was your experience traveling? You know, shooting and traveling, life changing. So huh. I, I honestly would be just like, I don't know, saving every penny I had and like not not living life really if it wasn't for photography. Like, I guess like kicking me out of the house and like really making me like 
grow as a person and like meet new people. Like I I've met so many, so many like different and interesting people just internationally. That's not to say there isn't a lot of people like that in the U S but I am more inclined when I'm in a, a different country. Um, another cool thing is that like hashtags on Instagram, they're a little weird right now because of AI art and not art AI stuff. I'm convinced is that, but, is um, that why I'm, I'm not getting hashtag views. I'm convinced yeah. they don't really right Cause I'm seeing like when I go to my insights, I'm getting like barely any hashtag. I'm convinced views. That, that those yeah. hashtags yeah. don't really work anymore. They don't. You can, really. you can do it, but it's not going to work that much. Like, I think not it's people get, saving mm. your posts now and actually commenting and you commenting and sharing. back that yeah. actually. And sharing. Saving. That actually saving does. Is yeah, most. saving is a big one. Yeah, yeah. The thing is that most things I save are like shooting techniques, recipes. I save like yeah. a lot of editing tips. There's and, that um, too, yeah. Yeah, a lot of editing oh, and, tips, uh, real content ideas. And uh, shooting locations and also places to yeah. check out. Shooting locations I have saved a lot. Mm-hmm. so and food spots in dc that too that too because uh, i'm always i'm a foodie i like going around to <sighs> different spots same same yeah but yeah but no that actually sounds pretty cool like i think i'm gonna do that at one point i'm gonna start small and then go big so maybe maybe i'll go to utah because utah naturally it's a really good looking space yeah but utah's great salt lake city is amazing i want to go to colorado colorado what part probably boulder or denver Mm. yeah i heard, I heard uh, denver is great i heard yeah. colorado wait i want to colorado move, that's that's my wife and i's dream is to move to colorado i heard colorado there i heard colorado spring smells like sewage we will not oh, tolerate so- any slander towards colorado <laughs> Look, we're gonna get canceled by colorado <laughs> <laughs> the whole state <laughs> okay cut that out too okay <laughs> we yeah. don't want to get sued uh we love colorado okay yeah Shout out to Colorado. Shout out to Colorado. Go Lots Buffs. of mountains. But uh, but yeah, but you know what? I loved hearing all this. You know what? And we both love you, Justin. Thank you for telling us all this because now we're getting ideas. This was amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely, man. Yeah. No, this is a really great episode. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then, yeah, Justin, he maybe he be, he'll be back. Maybe he won't. But you never know. I would like to see him back. Yeah. <laughs> like, we I would like to be back. <laughs> It but, was a blast. <laughs> but yeah, you know what? Yeah, this is uh, wrapping it up. But thank you, Justin, uh, for, join, for joining us today. Mm-hmm. Can, I, can I say something? Yeah, uh, go right ahead. Yeah, man. go ahead. So if anybody wants to DM me about artificial lighting, I will talk for days, months, years about artificial lighting. So hit me up if you see some, some photo and you're like, how did they light that? I, I love playing that. It's like Mad Libs, but with what lighting they used for me, so. You heard the man. All right. Well, feel free to message him. And if uh, you don't feel like it, then don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but yeah, but seriously, if you have questions, yeah, go about artificial lighting, then go ahead or ask any of us, honestly, on the, our personal page, on our, uh, manic, folk, on our podcast page, yeah, personal manic melanin and yeah. photography page. Also keep, of Sanchez photos. Yeah. Shout out to peach magenta photography and shout out to midnight killjoy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's my, or I have another one, but midnight killjoy is my okay. yeah. photography. True, one. True, true. And I should have a videography page coming very soon. Same, same. So be on the lookout for that. But yes, before I end it, I do want to say, um, for, we have, a some uh special um stories popping out soon so keep an eye on our stories and yep. please interact with it because we're gonna have something out there that is gonna actually go into uh our pod sessions soon definitely we're taking things to a next uh to the next level with uh content creation on our instagram page so be on the lookout for some uh videos some photos uh we're gonna get more interactive with you guys because yeah definitely. i feel like i feel like we're not really like yeah we did i i admit yeah. we did slack a bit but we're we gonna really we're did. gonna work on it this time <laughs> yeah we're gonna go a little bigger so season yes. two we're going out definitely we're going in with a bang that's what i meant boom <laughs> but anyway thank you so much for joining us so episode 14 coming soon this has been episode 13 with justin so yeah thank you emerson thank you justin for being here and uh, this is peach and this is emerson this is justin and we will see you very soon. And also feel free to check out our website. At faubros.com. Okay. And that's that. So we will see you later. Peace out, people. 
Thank you for listening to the Vote Bros Podcast. Feel free to follow us on Instagram at Vote Bros Podcast and follow us on X slash Twitter at Vote Bros.